When we first met, I told you that uh, you'd be a sh Jesus. <laughs> that you'd be a sheller up soon. I didn't know I was talking about it. <laughs> All right, I got it. My future wife at the time. Or that I would ask you to marry me a couple years later at that very same spot. Once I met Dane, along with uh, Frank and Terry, I knew I wanted us to be a fan. When he looked into her eyes, he learned the most important part of the language that all the world spoke. The language that everyone on earth was capable of understanding in their heart. It was love. Something older than humanity, more ancient than the desert. What the boy felt at that moment was that he was in the presence of the only woman in his life, and that, with no need for words, she recognized the same thing. Carter, to think I almost didn't go to the bar with Sarah that day four years ago is kind of crazy. I was not in the mood to socialize, but I decided, hey, let's go out. Within minutes of sitting right down next to you and starting up a conversation, I knew you were someone very special. After you had been asking me out for weeks, months, or however long it was, I thought, okay, let's try it. You told me you loved me pretty early on in the relationship. I knew I loved you too, but it was cute to watch you get all red and nervous when I didn't say it back right away. From NPR to reality TV, from Harry Potter to Fortnite, Everything is better with you and Dan. I vow to love you, care for you, help share burdens with you, and goof around as long as we both shall. I vow to never take life too seriously, to stop and enjoy every moment with you. I promise to remember that we aren't perfect, but only perfect for each other. I promise to love all your silly dance moves, or at least try to. Just know that I'm so happy I met you, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. And now, in the presence of the people closest to your hearts, you have expressed your love for one another through vows, commitment, and rings. By the power vested in me, by the state of Nevada, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. Gentlemen, it's my great pleasure to introduce for the first time ever Mr. and Mrs. Carter Shellerup. I had the pleasure of staying with Carter and Katie for our weekend. Saturday morning, Katie woke up not feeling well. Carter made Katie four to five different cups of tea. Watching Carter run up and down the stairs, bringing her anything he could think of, was when I first witnessed Carter's without expectations, unconditional love for Katie. Thank you for matching Katie's big heart and loving her without expectations. Not only loving Katie beyond measure, but also loving Dane with the same unconditional love. I wish you three a lifetime of love and happiness. To Carter, Katie, and Dane. Carter, 
I don't know a person in the world who loves to argue as much as you do. <laughs> you are a lawyer's son, for sure. You're entering a new phase of your life. And your arguments around the house should get a little more simple. This is my marital advice to you. Two words. Yes, dear. Okay? Yes, dear. So that we take this time to practice. Yes, dear. Okay? And feel free to chime in, y'all. I think he's going to need some help. So when Katie tells you that you didn't separate the colors in the laundry properly, what's your argument going to be? Yes. It's hard to come. Uh, yes, dear. There it is. There it is. That's a good start. When she tells you Monday night is for The Bachelor and not for Monday Night Football, what's your argument going to be? We have multiple TVs. We have multiple Too many words. Yes, dear. All right. There you go. I'm not going to go over all the things that make Katie and Carter so wonderful because, first of all, we'd be here all night. And I know we want to move things along here, so... Secondly, anyone who, who has ever met them knows how special that they are. You can see it in their eyes, you can hear it in their voices, and you can feel it in your heart. I gave a lot of thought to what I wanted to say here tonight, because I wanted it to be perfect. But then I realized what's truly important is how Katie and Carter found each other, fell in love, and decided to be together forever. And that's what's perfect. <laughs>